But yeah, most of the other time I am running into like frontline hippos. Which is odd. I thought there'd be more sniper builds, which is seems to be the best um thing this week. Alright, let's be the bold swimmers. Yeah, they make combining two level two pets not give you a reward. I know. I think it's a bit of a weird change. But I don't know. They they buffed up how good combinations are, because now it's more of a more of a choice and not just complete luck. So I guess it's a bit of a give and take, but yeah, I, I liked um every level up giving you a thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, combine those. Buy this combine. Uh take a sheep. Take a sheep, we're leaving that. And we'll take a cherry. And I'm actually gonna put it on you. Yeah, let's run it that way. I think this is fine. Maybe could have moved the beaver somewhere, but it's probably alright where it is. Alright, yeah, we're good. Good. Finally, a game where I'm not losing all of my HP in the first, like, four rounds. And I'm not buying new meat bone. It saddens me. Okay, sell you, buy a Lima. So I'm still going to go for the garlic, I think. It's just very strong with that hit chinchilla. That's a combo for next turn. I think I'm just going to keep it frozen instead of selling Lima. Yeah, let's, let's do something like this. Don't need more of those. If I sell this, I just get one level two loyal chinchilla, so I can't um, use this for a combo. Bit sad, but rarely do it anyway, so that's fine. Sick dude, hello. So are those a different weekly that look different from this one? There was. When they first released it, it um they had clearly generated the pack before the new update, so it was really off. Like instead of there being, you know, nine pets from each tier or whatever it is. They had some, yeah, some had like six, some had 11, and it's really messed up. So after a few hours, they um remade it. But I didn't actually get any games during that period. Orc, yeah. Let's just go for a normal, normal sniper game. <laughs> All right, I'll buy these, but yeah, I don't need more of that. What would I put on a hawk? I guess it is a... I guess it is a cucumber. Alright, so you have decent attack now, so I can throw you further forwards. I'm fine with a sheep at the back, I think. Yeah, I think this is fine. So we're going to be sniping the middle pet. Oh, so they have buffed Hawk. This used to be a cave. Yeah, see, like, there's nothing in the middle. But I think I still sniped something. I may be wrong, but... I remember seeing that in a different game where I had a frontline Hawk and there was nothing there. And it actually still hit something. Which is very new. Um, I'd rather find tier 5 stuff, so I may wait on these levels. Just like do this for now or something. Nice, Alice. Yeah, it hit the hawk. That's fine. Okay, send again. Most bought pet. I don't know. I can check the stats, obviously, but... A lot of it's kind of out of date, because... I don't know how much they'll show from, like, current patches. A lot of my stats are the same as they were since, you know... Swan was overpowered, even though it's not my most bought tier 2 anymore. Not that I know what that is, but, you know. Alright. Let's get some more stats when we do this. Okay, wolf. We're definitely not doing Mosasaurus. I think there are only two toy things here. That's like Lima and this guy. So, yeah, I think you're nothing. Wolf is decent, at least better than Beetle, so... Take one of those. Nah, leave that. And... I'm just gonna stack that. I will move the wolf. Don't worry about that. Leave Clownfish, we're not going again. Okay, snipe the front. Clownfish can be at the back, just in case they have um, Crocodile or something. I know they'd need to have it early, but... Maybe. A Robo Dog, hello. You made hard mode harder? Wait, how? I didn't see any hard mode changes, but I haven't played it myself. Links. This is Sniper, but I don't know. I'll take it. Oh, well now I want to get another clownfish so I get more stats on there. Guess I'll wait. Let's do that. Um, I do this or something? I really don't know. I want to wait on the combo. 
gun. Hello. Yeah, we'll be doing the v lobbies after this game or the next one, probably. They made the modifiers worse. Oh. Freaky. I don't know why they'd make it harder, though. Like, I don't know. Hard mode was just brutal in the first place. Uh, cat. Lionfish. Actual sniper. I am in. Um, what do I get rid of first? Like, you're at least getting pretty large. I can get rid of you and not feel too bad. I know I can scale with cat, but, like, that's the sniper that I want. And this is very good. Okay, take that. I know I'm putting on something that barely has any... <laughs> just anything. But that's fine. Okay, send it that way. We're looking for crocodile, I think. And I feel like there's some other sniper at tier 5 that I can't remember. Maybe wrong though. There's like three at tier 6. I may just be misremembering one of those. Or maybe it's this I'm thinking of, because that used to be tier 5. Hawk, yeah, let's just do that. Then there's crocodile too. Grab you. T-Rex. Ooh, maybe. Maybe. I can use it to scale lionfish and stuff. Okay, I'm I'm gonna say no jellyfish over the sheep. Or not, maybe we do get rid of sheep first. Because I can't scale everything. Let's get rid of you, take that. I'm going to ignore these, because I do want to try a full, like, sniper squad. It's like, this turn we're not going to be scaling everything, we're just going to be scaling those two, but... If I can find leopards, you know, another leopard, crocodile, or lionfish, then... Swap those in, definitely. Yeah, okay, nothing else interesting there. And I think I'm fine leaving things where they are. And we'll definitely pivot away from the jellyfish, probably pivot away from the hawk. And that's gonna be a problem. Fair. Okay, so we're gonna need to invest in that, probably, so I'm gonna do that first. You're not going anywhere. And I was really hoping to find another sniper, okay. Get rid of you, play crocodile. We can scale three things. Put another one of these to the front. Maybe the other way, actually. Yeah, yeah, okay. So now I have a bit of protection against both crocodiles and mantis shrimp. If I do run against another team. And yeah, they still destroyed my whole backline, but... Oh well. <laughs> oh well. Okay, more scaling, good. These aren't the snipers that I want. Another crocodile, fine. I was really hoping to find, yeah, you. Okay, let's just do it. We're still on 2 HP. And I don't know about this one. Like, it's better than Crocodile. And it would be nice to be able to have all of them, but we're very close to the end of the game, and if I combine again, I don't know if I can afford to lose the stats. But I guess it's, I guess it's still worth it. I just need to find Lemons soon. Lemons and Levels. We're going to be scaling fast if I don't just die. Yeah, see, having a Mantis Shrimp there would have been great. Because now he's getting shredded by this. Ugh. Okay, I'm combining. Combining. Another T-Rex. No. No. Double down on Mantis Shrimp. And Pit is going to do nothing unless people have very, very weak snipes. So I'm just going to keep grabbing these, I think. Yeah, do that. Run again. This one could be manageable. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Close, but we do live. And every turn we live is a turn that we scale. I'm gonna leave that, I think. That's amazing. <laughs> no. Um, one of these has to be next. I assume it's Leopard. Because you snipe more often the higher your attack is, but you snipe heavier. And I think that is good. I could also just leave it, because I do need equipment, but... Yeah, I'm not freezing chocolate to roll for another food slot. So I either roll the chocolate or I buy it and then roll and just hope to live. What is that middle pet? This is a mantis shrimp. You don't remember mantis shrimp? It was the classic. <laughs> no, this is from the new puppy rework. It's like, um, snapping turtle. You see this guy? Who else? Mosasaurus? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember what the new ones, but it doesn't look like there's that many in this pack. Lima. There's a Lima up there somewhere. Okay, don't mind trying to level you. I'm not buying chili. I will take... I'll freeze that. 
I will take tomato or lemon. But otherwise, I'm not bothered. And I'll buy this. I'm not going to go for the crocodile level, because all of these three, sure. And this isn't that much better than crocodile, but I can't spread it out that much. Haha, -ha, there we go. Actual protection from the front. Nice. Eight trophies. That is a couple of levels. Okay, that's good enough. The manta shrimp, fine. I need that. I think you're not going to happen. Like, maybe go for the manta shrimp and just try and find... Yeah, there we go. Tomato. Tomato's going on the T-Rex, I think. I would like another lemon on there, but... Yeah, I don't know. Really hoping I can get this leveled up next turn. That would be nice. And we good. Cool, cool. I feel like you've seen Snappy Turtle on the others, but Manta Shrimp looked funny. It is definitely funny looking. That's the thing I used in my thumbnail today. I think. It should be. Take that roll. And I guess I just buy pancakes, because it's like nothing else. So, uh... Send again? Yeah, I guess so. Maybe should have thrown this further forward, actually, because it's a bit far back. But at least there aren't that many snipes that don't trigger, like, right at the start of combat. Ah. Good enough. There we go. Sniper game! <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, I'll try to go for, like, one more quick one, maybe. Let's just go a little speedy. Good golden siblings. Oh my god, it's like my team from <laughs> two games ago. Absolutely terrible. Thank you for the free trophy. Okay, stack that. Maybe should have stacked those two instead, because I could be convinced to double sell duck, and we also get more stats on my side that way. Oh well, we won anyway. And even if I lost, it wouldn't have cost me anything. Uh, combo? Flycatcher, sure. Flycatcher, throw that on you. Send again. And this is a pretty good team. Just violated my opponents. It's their fault for running a team like that. And oh, Flycatcher, thank you. So good. Swan. Almost tempted. I also kind of want to run a cherry on this, but... Yeah. I don't know. I'll do this, maybe. Yo, okay. Let's try and keep the rat, then. Let's actually get it do some stuff, because it does work with Flycatcher. I can't see this being good late game, but it could be interesting to do early game. Yeah, they summon a rat and then we get a random like three damage sniping. What does Flycatcher do? It um It does a snipe to a random enemy every time an enemy gets summoned. So if I'm summoning extra things for my opponent, then that means more snipes for me. Okay. Well I'm seeing double hippo, and it's <laughs> kinda difficult to say no to that. I may just sell the duck so I can hopefully get the beaver to hit this as well. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. Good, they got one of them. And freeze cucumber. Freeze clownfish as well, maybe? Because I won't be able to level this up next turn anyway, but... You know, I could maybe do something here. Let's see. Always seems to hit the thing that was summoned, even if it's random. It doesn't always. It seems to happen a lot, but I haven't used it that much. Ouch. Okay, close fights. If I got like one more snipe off in a good spot, that could have been fine. Um, I don't know whether I should be investing more in this rat. But I'm doing it. Okay. Send again? I. Okay, let's rearrange. Let's definitely have a rat feed into one of the hippos. I feel like there's no reason not to do that. Yeah, there we go. We're making room. So if they do get summoned two rats, then we can eat those. And look at that! Targeted sniping just destroyed the backline. Okay, deer, not bad. Probably better than crickets. And I can always combine there, but... I don't know. It's not what I want. What I want is a hippo or a rat. So, yeah, there we go. Snapping turtle. Um... I think I'm going to grab the turkey. Grab turkey, we can try and like pivot something else in. I'm debating whether I just sacrifice this or not, because this isn't actually that big. I need a way to scale the hippo. 
I don't know. I'm just going to send it this way. I'm not going to do Rat Hippo because I, I'm more interested in getting the rats to spawn so I can do some snipes than I am uh, the other thing. Yeah, snipes are more fun. Thanks, no. Leave that. Yeah, garlic on there would be fine. I just needed to pivot to tier 5 stuff when um, we get there. Like, do I sell the cricket just to get a kind of large eel? I don't love it, but maybe I just do something like this. Eh, maybe you're big enough to get a trade. I'll trust you to get a trade, because we are not we don't need to just have this, like, 7-something. It's going to be like 7-11, maybe. 7-10. But yeah, we were also meant to have a big B. Didn't happen that way, because it got sniped, but oh well. If it was skewer and that would be rad just because it's satisfying. It wouldn't be good though. And as much as I love this build, I do think I'm going to pivot away from weird flycatcher rat stuff. I may keep these, but double turkey makes it incredibly easy to pivot. Like, I could just sell something here and have a massive snapping turtle. And I think that's a good play. I care the least about... Oh, actually, crane for you would be amazing. Let's buy that. Okay, and I'm going to keep rolling. I'm going <laughs> to ignore Snapping Turtle for a minute. Keep going. Crocodile is also pretty good. I do kind of want to do that. It's just having you at the front just sucks. Do we have a separate sacrifice there? Like, how would this work? It would trigger on the first one. Yeah, the rat's just going to make this awkward. Get rid of it. Play one of these. It's just a lot better. And there we go. All right, run it that way. This build was so based. It wasn't viable. It was going to get really bad very quickly. And they still one-shot my melon hippo. Ouch. Ooh, okay. Well, combine all those. Uh, early T-Rex is huge. I think, <laughs> I think the hippo is actually going. I could have a string of cranes. We're on 3 HP. Let's have a crane train. Okay. XP, good. Um, is there anything more likely to live? We could do it that way. I feel like my front line and back line are the most likely to die, so let's have, let's have these going that way. And yeah, that did not work at all. <laughs> I know they barely have any HP, or at least relatively. Anyway, I think that has to happen. I think we should probably get rid of the turkey, so I guess this is where I grab another crane, if I'm actually doing that. Let's see Manta Shrimp and stuff. Uh, I don't know. Pancakes for this turn? Like, pancakes you. That just gives everything an extra 2-2. Two, two. Start a fight. But yeah, I need lemons on everything, if I want them to actually live. Well, you know, wanted to have a chance to actually get this. The biggest chance. Like lemons. I don't know what to do here. I want lemon on you as well. Let's just level them anyway. Like, if I can level you up and find another T-Rex, then that's still good. We didn't, though. But we did find the T-Rex. Having a lionfish would be very good. A lot better than the crocodile, probably. But we're fine. We're fine. Just show me lemons. Better switch TV doesn't seem to want to work. It should be set up fine, but I haven't tested it in a long time. I see Robodog's Copium. And we found lemons. Good. I trust... Actually, no, you're pretty likely to get hit by something, because lots of people are running snipers at the moment, including Manta Shrimp. Which targets the front line, so sure. Have one there. I'm going to ignore these. Actually, I'm not, because it's probably the last turn. So, maybe throw you there. Throw you there, trust it. Crane Train. My dream. Yo, I like this background. Ah. I lost one. No, we're good. Okay. Well, that was a team. <laughs> the Crane Train survived. Good stuff. Alright, GG's. GG's.